Hey, today we're at Barnes and Nova and we're buying the new Dairy Movie Kid Double Down. Follow me around and I'll get my coffee. I think they have still have a lot of copies. Oh. Yes. Okay, here, got guys, here is the cover of the book. I'm going to show you the cover and the back of the book. So the cover shows, like, Greg is, like, has, has, has piled a lot of stuff, like a huge backpack, and he has like, too much stuff, and he's falling down the stairs. And on the back... It shows um, him and Rowley with a bunch of gummy worms and the whole thing about the whole, like, summary of the book. So it's about um, that Greg is has a lot of pressure and his mom tells him to get on his creative side. And he thinks, and Greg is going to make a movie with Rowley in this book. And um, now we're going to look at the inside. Now first we got this kid here, he's a new character, um, there's also a few other characters, like this, this stuff here, Greg and the Boat, um, there's also a bunch of other pictures, um, there's this, these people, um, this, this crazy scary thing that happens, something, this is the kid, the kid named Maddox. He's the new kid in our in the story, and there's some other scary thing that happens. There's this clown dude. Then there's Greg as an adult and he's fat. <laughs> um. Then there's the mo They're like putting a piano there, doing something. There's a saxophone. Um. He's trying to play a tuba, but it's hard for him. Um. There's also Fram and Fro like Halloween, like the next one. And there's also when they the girls say goodbye to Miss Hefley. And then there's Dad looking at Hefley and he's afraid. And then Dad was angry at him. And then there's Greg's hands completely dirty. There's him. There's another guy with all those butterflies. Um, Zooey Mama. Um then there's so, like more of a movie that they're making. There's gummy worms. And lastly, the most interesting scene in the book, the geese. So that is it. Bye guys. Make sure to subscribe to my channel. Please read this book. It is one of the best books I've ever read so far. Um bye.